Hi guys, welcome! In this video, we'll take a look at the new garment synthesis and the new tier upgrades coming in RO 2.0. Currently, we can find the Magic Furnace or Enchant Fusion NPC in Aldebaran, wherein we can synthesize our weapon, armor, accessory, and offhand into more powerful forms. And with the RO 2.0 update coming soon in the C server, we'll now be able to synthesize our garment and foot gear which will grant enhanced attributes and effects. First, we'll take a look at the new tiers and synthesis of garment so that you guys can prepare in advance all the required materials. We'll also compare the stats and effects of the scent garment with their respective non-scent version to help you decide whether it's worth it to upgrade your garment. Alright, without further ado, let's begin. First up, we have two new garments added in RO 2.0. Mithril Magic Cloak is dropped by the new mini Limru found at Time Garden. Notably, it grants plus 1% M death for every fine level plus 1. I don't think it will be in demand as it's not used as a material for garment synthesis. The other new garment is Phantom Cloak, which is exclusive for the ninja class. It can be crafted in Glassheim using the following materials. Since it increases strength, Crit rate, crit damage, and auto attack damage, it will be more suitable for the ninja auto attack sword type build. It has a synthesized form which we'll discuss later. Next, let's take a look at the garments which will have new tiers in RO 2.0. First up, we have additional tiers for Advanced Survivors Man 2, which is the upgraded form of Survivors Man 2. It can now be upgraded from tier 5 to tier 8 using the following materials. Notably, it will give 5% max HP at plus 10 refinement and additional 5% max HP at plus 15 refinement. It will have a synthesized form which we'll discuss later. Up next, we have additional tiers for Coat of Dragon Scale, which can be crafted in Geffen. It can now be upgraded from tier 5 to tier 8 using the following materials. Notably, it will grant more percent def and M def at plus 5, plus 10, and plus 15 refinement levels. Only a tier 6 coat of dragon scale will be used as a secondary equipment for the synthesis of Dovescape and Magic Staunchman 2. Up next, we have additional tiers for Death Cat Cape, which can be dropped with MVP Deathling. It can now be upgraded from tier 7 to tier 10 using the following materials. The new tiers will only increase Death by 22, Max HP by 1500, and all attributes by 1. A tier 10 Death Cat Cake will be used as a secondary equipment for the synthesis of Nato Kicksman 2, while a tier 6 Death Cat Cape will be used as a secondary equipment for the synthesis of Advanced Survivors Man 2. Up next, we have the new tiers for Diabolos Man 2, which can now be crafted in Racial. It can now be upgraded from tier 1 to tier 4 using the following materials. Notably, it will increase damage reduction by 3% when refined to plus 5. A tier 4 Diabolos Man 2 will be used as a secondary equipment for the synthesis of Blue Eve Cape, while a clean Diabolos Man 2 will be used for the synthesis of Dove's Cape and Magic Staunchman 2. Up next, we have additional tiers for Doflamingo Cape, which is dropped by the Mini Griffin. It can now be upgraded from tier 7 to tier 10 using the following materials. Notably, it will increase HP and SP region by 10% at tier 9, in neutral damage by 10% at tier 10 and plus 10 refinement. A tier 10 Doflamingo Cape will be used as a secondary equipment for the synthesis of Ancient Cape. Up next, we have additional tiers for Duff's Cape, which is the upgraded form of Goibnius Baldur's. It can now be upgraded from tier 5 to tier 8 using the following materials. Notably, it will grant plus 5% range physical damage reduction when refined to plus 5. It will have a synthesized form which we'll discuss later. Up next, we have the new tiers for General Sman 2, which is dropped by the Mini Dark Merchant Deje. It can now be upgraded from Tier 1 to Tier 4 using the following materials. Notably, it will decrease damage taken from MVP and Mini by 5% when refined to plus 5, and decrease damage taken from Demi Human by 5% when refined to plus 10. A tier 4 General Sman 2 will be used as a secondary equipment for the synthesis of Phantom Cloak and Undershirt, while a clean General Sman 2 will be used for the synthesis of Advanced Survivor Sman 2. And lastly, we have additional tiers for Magic Staunchman 2, which is the upgraded form of Staunch Cape. It can now be upgraded from tier 5 to tier 8 using the following materials. 
Notably, it will decrease neutral damage taken by 5% when refined to plus 5. It will have a synthesized form which we'll discuss later. Alright, now that we're done with the new tiers, let's discuss next the new garment synthesis. First up, we have the synthesis of Advanced Survivor's Monk 2. When discussing the synth garment, we will also be showing the attributes of the main garment with the max tier in the first column, the attributes of the synthesized version in the second column, and the comparative advantages of the synthesized garment in the third column. We'll focus on the differences and we'll follow this format for all the synth garment. Hopefully this can help you decide if you'll be prioritizing garment synthesis in RO 2.0. In here, we can see that in comparison to a tier 8 Advanced Survivor's Mon 2, the synth version will only grant additional 20 def and 1000 max HP. Refining it to plus 8 or higher is ideal since it will increase skill damage reduction by 1% for every refining plus 1. At plus 15 refinement, it will grant a total of 15% max HP and 8% skill damage reduction. This will be a good defensive gear in PvP, especially when paired with Survivor's Rod or its synth. Here are the needed materials for synthesizing Advanced Survivor's Mon 2. Up next, we have the synthesis of Ancient Cape. In comparison to a Tier 4 Ancient Cape, the synth version will grant additional 32 def, 1200 max HP, and 6 strength. Refining it to plus 8 or higher is ideal since it will increase skill damage by 1% for every refining plus 1. At plus 15 refinement, it will grant a total of 20% ignore def, 2% physical attack, and 8% skill damage. This will be the best garment in PvE for physical job classes that do not use auto attacks since skill damage is a final damage modifier. Here are the needed materials for synthesizing Ancient Cape. Up next, we have the synthesis of Blue Eve Cape. In comparison to a Tier 8 Blue Eve Cape, the synth version will grant additional 32 def, 1200 max HP, 5 vit, 10 dex, 5 flea, and 5% attack speed. Refining it to plus 8 or higher is ideal since it will increase auto attack damage by 1% for every refining plus 1. At plus 15 refinement, it will grant a total of 30% attack speed, 20 flea, 10 points to Strength, Dex and Agi, and 8% Auto Attack Damage. This is a decent and cheaper alternative to the Synthesized Undershirt for Physical Auto Attack, especially if you are having difficulty reaching max attack speed. Here are the needed materials for Synthesizing Blue Eve Cape. Up next, we have the Synthesis of Dove's Cape. In comparison to a Tier 8 Dove's Cape, the Synth version will grant additional 20 Def, 1500 max HP and 2 vit. Refining it to plus 8 or higher is ideal since it will increase auto attack damage reduction by 1% for every refining plus 1. At plus 15 refinement, it will grant a total of 30% range physical damage reduction, 15% def, 10 vit, and an 8% auto attack damage reduction. This will be a good defensive gear in PvP, especially when fighting against range physical classes like Stellar Hunters. Here are the needed materials for synthesizing Dove's Cape. Up next, we have the synthesis of Magic Staunchman 2. In comparison to a Tier 8 Magic Staunchman 2, the synth version will grant additional 20 def and 1000 max HP. Refining it to plus 8 or higher is ideal since it will increase skill damage reduction by 1% for every refining plus 1. At plus 15 refinement, it will decrease neutral damage taken by 30% and grant 15% M def and 8% skill damage reduction. This will be a good defensive gear in PvP, especially against magic classes like Chronomancers and Arcane Masters. It can be paired with Tier 4 High Fashion Sandals or its synth version for a plus 5% magic damage reduction. Here are the needed materials for synthesizing Magic Staunchman 2. Up next, we have the synthesis of Nato Kigsman 2. In comparison to a Tier 4 Nato Kigsman 2, the synth version will grant additional 20 def, 800 max HP, and 5 int. Refining it to plus 8 or higher is ideal since it will increase skill damage by 1% for every refining plus 1. 
at plus 15 refinement, it will grant 10 int, 5% attack speed, 5% variable cast time reduction, 3% magic attack, 20% ignore death, and 8% skill damage. This will be the best garment in PvE for magic drop classes. Here are the needed materials for synthesizing Nato Kigsmon 2. Up next, we have the synthesis of Phantom Cloak. In comparison to a tier 8 Phantom Cloak, the synth version will grant additional 20 def and 1300 max HP. Refining it to plus 8 or higher is ideal since it will increase auto attack damage by 1% for every refining plus 1. At plus 15 refinement, it will grant 8 strength, 5% crit damage, 5 crit rate, and 18% auto attack damage. This will be the best garment in PvE for the Ninja Physical Auto Attack Sword build. Here are the needed materials for synthesizing Phantom Cloak. Lastly, we have the synthesis of Undershirt. In comparison to a tier 8 Undershirt, the synth version will grant additional 44 def, 1200 max HP, 5 flea, and 10 luck. Refining it to plus 8 or higher is ideal since it will increase auto attack damage by 1% for every refining plus 1. At plus 15 refinement, it will grant 2% attack, 40 flea, 20 luck, 25% crit damage, and 8% auto attack damage. Due to its high crit damage and auto attack damage modifiers, it will be the best in slot for physical auto attack builds. Here are the needed materials for synthesizing undershirt. Alright, so far I've gone through all the new tiers and synthesis for garments in RO 2.0. We've also highlighted the advantages of synthesizing each garment and the materials needed. I hope this video has helped you guys decide if you'll be upgrading your garment in the next episode. Do take note that this information is based on the RO 2.0 patch in the China server, so some translations might be different once in English. However, the effects and materials will most likely be the same. Alright, that's it for this video guys. Don't forget to like if you enjoyed watching this guide. If you're new here, I would love you to consider subscribing by hitting the subscribe button down below. I would love to have you back. Thank you for watching and see you in our next episode.